Coinus Miller is leaving the Jackson State football program after just one year when he transferred into Jackson State from Auburn. We're going to talk about that and the timing of that. It comes right before their spring game after the bumper. Stay tuned. It's good, good people. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victor Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, Coinus Miller, he was a defense alignment. He was a transfer into Jackson State last year from Auburn with two years, two, three years of eligibility left. And now he is leaving JSU for his last year of eligibility. As this comes out in the last, you know, 24 to 48 hours, he is headed elsewhere to play his final season of college football. Let's take a look at his going away letter, essentially. Uh, he announced his train. He's entering the transfer portal on Instagram. And let me see if I can make this bigger. Uh, let's go like this. It says, this journey has been nothing short of amazing. I can only thank the man above for what he's done for me during my time at Jackson State. The love I have for Jackson and the people is unmatched. I will cherish the moments I shared with my teammates, coaches, and students at JSU. We made history in so many ways, and I wouldn't want it to happen any other way. Everyone's path is different, and that's something I had to understand for myself. I want to thank my family and the support they bring. I'm going to skip a little bit. Says, Sometimes God puts us in position to better ourselves, and that is what he is doing with me. I would like to announce I am entering the transfer portal and finishing my senior season elsewhere. Now, this came to a surprise and many people, myself included, because Coinus was someone I thought we'd have a big season, a major impact for Jackson State. Uh, not only this year, but I thought he was going to actually do it last year. I thought Coyness was going to have the impact, not that James Houston had. Nobody could have pred predicted that. But the stats that like Antoine Owen put up, I thought Coyness Miller would put up. I thought he was going to be that guy coming from an Auburn program where he played, coming from um, being a highly touted recruit. I thought he was going to be that dude. Like what Antoine Owen was able to accomplish at JSU, I thought that was going to be what Coyness Miller did. And he had somewhat of a lackluster season. Uh, I think James Houston and Antoine Owen came and stole the show when it came to Jackson State's defense. When a lot of people, myself included, thought those, you know, those numbers, those stats, that those accolades would have been to two players that were shown off a lot by Coach Prime, which were uh, Niles Gaddy and. Coinus Miller. He wasn't really shown off as much, but now Scotty was shown off a lot. And then Coinus Miller, I thought coming from Auburn, that SEC background, just like a uh, Aubrey Miller, just like a James Houston, would be able to make a major impact. But Coinus, I mean, he, he had a relatively quiet, quiet 2020, you know, qu relatively quiet season. Let me let me show you. Let's take a look at you know his stats from the season. I mean, they. They they were lackluster. I mean, they they were bad. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he was a scrub or anything, but he never, you know, he never had more than five tackles in a game total. He never had more than two solo tackles in a game. He never had more than a tackle and a half, you know, tackles for loss. On never had more than one and a half in a game, and and he only had one game or he had a sack. He only finished with, you know, less than two sacks on the season. And if we just look at his overall stats, we'll look at it right here. I mean, he he was he wasn't the impact player in playing in 11 games. He played in 11 games, but he was a backup and he finished with 20 tackles, five tackles for loss and only a sack and a half. Now, granted, he is playing a defensive tackle position. It's not like he's playing an edge rusher like a James Houston. It's not like he's playing an outside linebacker or rushing the passer like a Niles Gaddy. But you coming from Auburn, there were higher expectations for him. Let's 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 not fake the phone. Coming from Auburn, a program like Auburn, there were higher expectations from him. And there were higher expectations for me, for him, and now it's Gaddy. And, to, and the timing of his transfer is also interesting because it comes essentially, you know, a week or two out from the spring game. 
And I think what's taking place is he's seeing that he's probably going to play a backup position once again. The only reason for a young man to transfer before the spring game, before you even get to fall camp, is that you, you know you're not going to start. He's going into his senior season. He's trying to make it to the next level. He's trying to play professional football, I'd imagine. Come, you know, if you're coming from a program like Auburn. And if you're not a starter your senior year, chances are you're not going to make the next level. Chances are you're not going to get much playing time. Chances are your NFL dreams are just that. They're dreams. And so I imagine that at Jackson State, he wasn't getting the reps in spring ball. Now, it's not like the coaches don't know who he is, what his abilities are, and what he can do on the field. They've seen him for a year. They saw him play last fall. They've seen him this spring. And clearly, he it doesn't seem like he's getting the reps or the recognition or something. Something's missing there because there's no way you transfer before the spring game to another program or announce you're transferring before the spring game. And that's typically what happens. And we've seen it uh, across college football programs across the country. Spring is over. Kids hit the transfer portal. Why? Because they see that they aren't tra- they see they aren't going to be the starter heading into fall camp. It's just that simple. They see that they aren't going to get the playing time or it doesn't look like they don't really know that yet until you get to fall camp, but you, you get a good idea. You, you aren't getting the reps that you expect and you're not projecting as a starter like you would like heading into fall camp. We've seen it uh, like countless amount of times. The most famous example was Joe Burrow at Ohio State. RIP Dwayne Haskins. Dwayne Haskins was the starter. Urban Meyer, Ryan Day, all those guys up at Ohio State told Joe Burrow, like, yo, we're going to go with Dwayne. He's he's going to be our guy, and we're going to let you know straight up. And before fall camp, Burrow transfers to LSU, and the rest is history. Both of those guys ended up being first-round picks. And so I think that's what's taking place with Coinus. He is seeing that, hey, I'm not going to be the starter at JSU. I wasn't a starter last year, and that was cool because there were some studs ahead of me. And those guys, James Houston, Antoine Owen, You know what I mean? Like, I think those are NFL players. But to not be a starter this year, to not be a starter on a team that's the defending swag champion, the team that's trying to go back and win a a celebration, win a celebration bowl this year, to a team that's trying to win another swag championship, another swag East title, that that's what's going to cause you to transfer. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Black Boss Channel with Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.